I am an invisible man. No, I am not like the ghost named Casper, nor do I haunt the hallways of the abandoned house on your block. I am indeed a man with skin, bone, muscle, and brain, but I am invisible simply because people refuse to see me. I am seen through the distorting and dizzying mirrors of the frenzied fun house. When they look at me, they see my surroundings, their projections, and even themselves. They see everything and anything except me. My invisibility is no accident. No. It all depends on whose eyes come across me. But I've grown to it. There can be a benefit of being unseen until you start to wonder if you really even exist. Am I a phantom, I ask? Or a figure in a nightmare? When these feelings overwhelm me of feeling unseen, I start to unravel. You affirm your place in the world and your right to exist. You shout at the top of your anguished lungs. You raise your fist to strike at those who did not see you. You cuss, scream, and swear that they will know you. They have to. But they won't. So, why do I continue to write? This torturous, mundane activity that brings me no relief? Because my words, my ideas shall not be forgotten. Why should I experience this nightmare alone? I want others to know the life of the invisible. I played the role of the forgotten, of the underground, of the phantom. But as much as I try, I'm drawn into the light. I am called to do something bigger, better. I want to be open to love but I feel protective of my love. Perhaps there is a compromise. My hibernation must come to an end. It is time to come up and breathe and be seen. And when I come up, I will still smell the scent of death in the air. I will know there is much more work to be done, but I must emerge invisible or not. My words, my words, I had to write, what else could I do? Being invisible without substance, a disembodied voice, I had to share what was true. But does it resonate if your eyes are still looking through? And for the others who understand indeed, I speak for you.